so today we are going to see the lesson chapter 1 that is matter in our surroundings it is somewhat interesting chapter that is what are the things present surrounding us that we are going to see in detail and some activities including that in that part so what are the topics covered in this chapter so i have made three videos in this first lesson so in this part one video we are going to see about what is the physical nature of matter and introduction about the matter and what are the characteristics of particles of matter and states of matter so next thing first before going into the topic we should know what is mean by matter anything that occupies space and ha it will has a mass that is called as a matter so what are the things which occupy space that is called as the matter and it is also having mass so on this we are classifying the matter so many scientists gave so many definitions so earlier indian philosophers classified the matters in the form of five types that is air earth fire sky and water that is called as panch tattva so on this basis physical states of matter is classified into three types that is solids liquids and gases on the basis of chemical composition matter is classified as two types that is pure substance as well as mixtures pure substance you already know from the name itself it is very pure only a single particles present mixtures may be homogeneous mixtures and heterogeneous mixtures in detail about homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture you will be studying in lesson 2 so homogeneous mixture means it is a particle which contains only a single particle that is uniform mixture that is called as homo means same or uniform heterogeneous mixture means it will contain two or three types of mixtures that is called as heterogeneous mixtures next we are going to see in detail and the classification comes under physical nature of matter that is matter it is made up of particles we already know and the particles of that which is made up of matter will be very small that is it will be very tiny very tiny and the size is very small the particles of the matters have space between them and particles of the matters are continuously moving the particles of the matter attracts each other so we are going to see one by one in detail so first one matter is made up of particles we know that all materials are made up of particles that we are going to explain with the help of one activity so for that activity we are going to take three beakers in the three beakers first beakers we are adding some water so in that water if you are add you can add any sugar particles or a salt particles okay so and then you have to note down that level and then with the help of a stirrer stirrer means it will be in the form of a glass rod that we have to stir it uniformly so after stirring we can see the level of the water does not change if you see the picture a beaker after stirring that b beaker the level of the water both are same so stirrer means it is in the form of glass rod so after that what happens to the salt or sugar added so that is the conclusion of this experiment that is the particles of the salt get into the space between the particles of the water so the salt particles occupy the space between the water molecules so you can see that orange orange color balls that is your sugar or salt particles that is in between the water molecules so it all the particles will be occupying made up of particles so this is an example just i have explained with an activity and the next thing particles are very tiny and small in size that we can do with the help of a same activity so we can do by taking this with the same beaker that is glass beaker it is 100 ml glass beaker we can take three to four or five to six beakers and we can name it as a b c d beakers in that first a beaker we are taking two to three crystals of potassium permanganate solution and that we are adding some water and we are making that into a solution the potassium permanganate crystals will be purple in color so that color of that potassium permanganate is purple it is very dark purple color and then after some times to the b beaker we are taking 10 ml of that 100 ml solution that is from a beaker we are taking 10 ml of the solution and that we are diluting with another 100 ml of beaker containing water so again if you see the color change from a to b somewhat color has been reduced from this b beaker again we are taking another 10 ml solution and then we are doing further dilution that is the color of the c beaker if you see the color of a b c a it is very dark 
B, it is very, very uh, somewhat color is reduced. And compared to C, it is reduced again. Again, if you do further dilution, that is, we are taking again 10 ml, we are diluting to 100 ml. If you see the last D beaker, the color is very much reduced. So here we can tell that 2 to 3 crystal drops, particles of that crystal's potassium permanganate, it contains millions of tiny particles. So even if you are doing 5 to 6 times of dilution, the color only will be reduced. So this is an activity to explain particles of the matters are very tiny in size. And next thing, particles of the matters have space between them. So same example, first activity what I have explained that you can include here also. Same we are taking three beakers and first beaker we are adding some water and in that water we can take 100 ml water. We can add either sugar particles or salt particles, both are crystalline, smaller tiny crystals and in second beaker if you see the level of the water will not be raised so as such the level will be there and if you with the help of glass rod we are stirring and we can uh, observe what happened to the added sugar or added salt solution that is the sugar or salt occupies between the space between the water molecules same orange color balls is your sugar molecules and blue color balls is your water molecules so we can tell there is some space between the water molecules so the sugar particles or salt particles goes in between the water molecules so from this we can we are explaining that particles of the matter have space between them next we can tell particles of the matters are continuously moving for this the best example is here also we are doing that with an activity we are taking a 100 ml beaker in that we are adding just uh, taking some water that is 100 ml water we are taking we are adding either blue or red ink whatever ink you want you can add it and then just if you see after leave it disturb undisturbed for some times and then after few hours if you check and see that blue color will be spread throughout the water molecule so there is some diffusion taking place that is the ink spreads evenly throughout the water molecule due to the movement of the particles between the water and ink so we can define this term as called as diffusion that is the intermixing of two or more different types of matter on their own so here we didn't stir or we didn't touch as such it is undisturbed for few hours if you see that glass beaker the uniform blue color will be produced that is it itself has been distributed thoroughly that ink has been distributed so this type is called as diffusion same we can uh, see that uh, pictorial representation is also given that is gas molecules as well as solid particles so this is the best example that is matter particles of the matters are moving continuously same we can explain with the help of uh, agarbati so if you uh, take one agarbati and if you uh, just burn that agarbati and place it in near any one room or a classroom just after some times you will be smell the fragrance of the agarbati that is also a best example of diffusion our next topic is called as particles of the matter attract each other so solid particles if you take there will be some force of attraction liquid particles if you take there will be some force of attraction gaseous particles if you take there may be some force of attraction so each and every states are having force of attraction but the force of attraction varies between solids liquids and gas solids if you take the force of attractions will be tight and more force of attraction will be there liquids if you take compared to solid the force of attraction will be somewhat minimum if you take gaseous molecules the force of attraction is very low because randomly it will be moving so for this to check we are doing one activity so you can take your iron nail a piece of chalk piece or your rubber band so here just what we are doing means iron nail we are doing just we are hitting with the hammer to cut that iron nail and chalk piece just by cutting it will cut and the rubber band we are doing we are applying some stretching force so here we are comparing the forces of attraction between iron nail chalk chalk piece as well as rubber band so if you take chalk piece it is very easy to break so with the help of applying some simple force itself it will be breaking it will be broken because the force of attraction between that particles held in the chalk piece will be very low if you take rubber band if you stretch to some extent it will start to break so there also force of attraction will be low but compared to high compared to chalk piece and finally if you take iron nail if you do hammering process or if you beat 
with the any other hard substance the iron nail will not break so the force of attraction is very very hard in the solid particles that is iron nail the force of attraction is very high because particles are tightly packed compared to chalk piece as well as rubber band so this is an activity to explain the particles of the matter attracts each other that is each and every particles will be having different forces of attraction whether it may be a solid state liquid state or a gaseous states next we are going to see about the topic states of matter so already you know in lower classes we have studied that matter exists in three different types one is solid state liquid state gaseous state so for each states we are going to see what are all the properties if you take the properties of the solids it will be having definite shapes and volumes will be fixed volume for example if you can take ice water that is water if you are pouring in the ice tray it will be acquiring that shape so it will be very fixed and volume will be also very tightly packed the space between the particle is very minimum that much easily we cannot pass any molecules to enter inside the solid particles as well as the forces of attraction between the particles very high that is maximum force of attraction will be there for solid particles we cannot that much easily break that solid ice the movement of the particle is minimum suppose if force of attraction is very high means movement of the particles will not takes place so the minimum movement of the particles will be there there are there are least compressible so we cannot easily compress that solid particles therefore the rate of diffusion is also least because if the movement is very minimum force of attraction is high means the rate of diffusion is very very low so these are all the properties of the solids and next coming to properties of liquids there will be somewhat changes compared to that of solids solids have definite shape but here in liquids there will not be having definite shape but have fixed volume liquids take the shape of the container for example if you are pouring any water in a bottle means the shape of that water it will takes the shape of the bottle or a jug if you are pouring water in a beaker the it will take the shape of that beaker so it will not be having any definite shape but volume will be fixed suppose if you are pouring 100 ml water in a beaker means the water will volume will be as such 100 ml the space between the particle is intermediate so here the space is intermediate because we can easily some other particles will enter inside for example if you are adding water in that if you are adding ink or any other substance if you are adding means the particles will easily diffuse each other the forces of attraction between the particle is also intermediate so the movement of the particles is intermediate and there are less compressible the rate of diffusion is more than solids so here the diffusion is very high compared to that of solids compared to properties of gases gases here they have no definite shape or a fixed volume gases occupy the whole space of the container for example if you are filling gas in the balloon means it will occupy the si up to the size up to which we are blowing it will occupy the shape as well as the volume the space between the particles is maximum because the gaseous particles are randomly moving the space is very maximum and forces of attraction between the particles very minimum so that only just if you put one hole the balloon will starts to burst so this attraction between the particles very very low in gaseous uh, state the movement of the particles maximum they are most compressible so even though we can compress the gas into liquid form this thing is happening in our domestic cylinder so that is called as compressible so just we can compress the gas and then only they are filling in the cylinders so that is called as liquefied petroleum gas they are telling right so the rate of diffusion is more than solids and liquids compared to solids and liquids the rate of diffusion is very very high and these are all the pictorial representation of the solids liquids gases so if you see this uh, diagram figure solids it is tightly packed liquid it is somewhat randomly packed and gaseous it is very loosely packed so this is the arrangement of solids liquids as well as gas thank you